Welcome ladies and gents to another episode. Today we're at Cody Brennan and we're taking on two of the black trails to see which is best. So it's a head to head, which trail is best? We will soon find out. We're gonna be taking a look at some of the features, giving you a few details and checking them out so you can see if you like the trail and you want to come ride it yourselves. Woo! What a, what a ride. Huge day in the saddle. And we're off. It's hard do. Let's be having you. Cheeky little rock slab. That one, I reckon. Straight down. Oh, What's there then? Well, I did it. Yeah, okay, mate. Do you want the, the good or the bad news? I did get it on camera. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> How's it look up there? Looks all right from down there, but up here. another section which is another beast of a rock roll all completely rollable just keep your speed in check don't drop in too fast and you'll be all right it's not too bad but when you don't know it's there you definitely can't roll this right side don't let it catch you out doesn't look like anything from here but uh could definitely put you over the bar yeah it's good to see that the uh, climb is actually worth it. Some nice features straight out the back. So far we have been rewarded for our efforts. There was a huge climb out of the car park. Good sort of 45 minutes-ish of just fire road grind. This is good, it's quite, quite a challenging terrain. Hard to keep your momentum up because there's so many big boulders. Being so rocky, this place is going to ride probably the same in the wet. I would have thought those rock slabs might be a bit sketchier, but the actual trail itself is going to hold up really well. This little bit of trail could snap. Definitely punish you if you're not paying attention. Loads of little pinball-y rocks. Loads of sections that are, that are wanting to hook up the front wheel. So, got to keep looking up ahead. Keep loose and just let the bike dance around, I reckon. Whoa, whoa. Right little section that. A few little sniper rocks in this section. Ooh, another rock garden on this track. We're roughly about seven, eight miles into this trail. It appears to be one of those trails that's either up or down, which is quite good. So start off with a huge climb, nice decent descent, and then we're now back on the climb again. And uh, the climbs are pretty straightforward, just fire road slogs, and the descent seem to be sort of rock garden central. But uh, we're not sure what lies further ahead. 
we will see and check back in if there's something worth talking about. <laughs> It's a really long little man-made rock section there. Oh, look at this. This is lush. Ooh. We're now into a section called Pins and Needles, and it's living up to its name, to be fair. It's a, a really long sort of man-made rock garden. It keeps going, keeps delivering, and it rattles your hands to to hell but it's great fun i mean just the, just being in this part of the forest is so lush prime welsh trail center oh, the section of trail some pine needles some pretty rock like fixed in rocks and loose rocks this is um this is this trail in a nutshell, yes. Just battering through rock sections. Yeah. Ooh. Right, so that's the first trail in the books, Tarwell Dew. And it did deliver actually, it was a fun trail. It's taken us about two hours-ish to get round it. Had some really fun sections, some big climbs, some big rock slabs. At times it was a struggle to keep flow on some bits. That's the only sort of downside I can really think about it, but it was overall a great little trail that. So now we're gonna dive off, have a bit of lunch, and come in for round two with the next black trail. Gaff, what were your thoughts on that track? Pretty easy, really, you know. So I wouldn't call it a black, to be honest, I'd call it green. Descents were pretty easy, climbs were easy. No, it's good. You weren't saying that at the top of the hills when oh, you are flat on your back. Hard work, good fun though. So we're now dropping into the second black trail of the day, the MBR line, which is an 18 kilometer loop, all with about 400 meters of climbing in it. The start of this trail is shared with the beast and dragon's back, but then we're expecting it to peel off. We've had a big, big slog out the gate. Now we've reached a trail called Kane, which seems to be traversing across. Shake it a bit. Swim a bite on that rock. <laughs> Idiot award. So right now we're in the first little section of kind of tech and you've got loads of these awkward little corners that are turning with big big rocks in there so you really got to be careful where you put the front wheel try not to jackknife the front end and scratch up your stanchion like that has. this seems completely different to anything we've ridden so far today oh nice Nice and poppy. Serpent trail. Look at this. Snaking our way down. This is lovely. Left, right, left, right. Watch the loose rocks. Nice. We're now onto a trail called False Teeth or something along those lines. 
And uh, yeah, the trail starts dropping away now, which is nice because we've just had a real long climb. I'm not gonna lie, there's some serious climbs to be had on these trails. And we're technically still following the beast as well. Starting to feel pretty tired now. I think we're on, we've done about 28K. Feeling it. So if you're gonna attempt both black runs, it's a big ride. Oh, nice to have a little percent now. Hard earned. Nice. Oh, look at this. You, got, you can't get lazy on these trails. You've got to keep your eyes on the prize. Otherwise you easily could come a cropper on one of these rocks. Bit of a drop there. Nice. Ooh. One other thing to mention is we had so much rain yesterday and there's barely a puddle on this track. Which just shows how well this one's been designed, put together. To be honest, I don't feel like these trails have seen much maintenance. I mean, I'm sure this stuff does go on behind the scenes. But I don't see that as a problem on these. Usually if a, a, a trail's been neglected, doesn't run too well. Whereas this just feels like they let the trail go and it just adds to the roughness and make the ride a bit even better. On Bugsy, into the woods now. Nice. Nice little blanket of moss there. This is so much better than the twerch trail at uh, Kum Khan. We're on Dragon's Back. A bit of flat out the set. The MBR line seems to borrow bits of track from the Beast and Dragon's Back. If you want to see what the Dragon's Back trail is all about, I've also done a video for that a few years ago, so you can have a look at that. Ooh. Oh, we are deep in the game here. Massive climb out of from the uh, bridge there. Legs are really feeling it now. Here we have the beginning of the end, and we're riding this rocky bit of single track. Oh, look at this. There's loads of trail here. It's a huge trail center. Loads of stuff for all abilities. Some greens and blues, some skill section. You've got the, I think it's a 30 mile black run called the Beast the dragon's back and the ones we've covered today. So it's, there's a lot going on. Whoa, some burly rocks down there. Here we are. The final garden, the final turns. And oh, we've made it. Woo! Water. What a ride. Huge day in the saddle. So the showdown between the two trails, I think I preferred the Tardu, which seemed like it took you out there a bit more. I think the trail on the, the Tardu was impressive. Some really fast sort of rock sections. And the rock slabs at the top were great fun. You don't get to see that very often. The MBR line seemed to share sections of the beast and the red dragon almost all the way. There was little to no trail on the MBR that was its own. And I'm not sure if it's because it was a second trail of the day, but the, the, the climbing felt more on the MBR. 
whereas the Tardu seemed to have sort of two or three pretty solid climbs and then it was just good descents all the way after whereas the MBR was a lot more sort of up down up down traversing with a lot of uh, like some big climbs um, so there we have it folks don't take my word for it come down here and check them out yourselves it's the only way to really find out so we're now heading back to the campsite lovely site actually it's right on the doorstep of this place so I'll show you around there and there's also a nearby lake so we're going to go and take a dip in there happy days yesterday we're riding the downhill trails at Antostiniog and tomorrow we've got some other trails lined up so make sure you come back for the next one